Maiduguri in Nigeria's remote northeast to travel on a revolutionary solar-powered bus service that could be a model solution for cities across the world. We'll meet Mustafa Gajibo, whose vision has created a cutting-edge mobility solution amid the troubles of a crisis region. And we'll hear from people about the surprise benefits the new bus service offers them as passengers. The current situation of the country, and I would say not only my country, the whole world, prices of fuel is going up, prices of uh, transportations are going up high, and uh, with the damage normal vehicles are causing to our, our environment, so we decided to come up with this as a solution to solve all these problems. Mustafa's team refits gasoline minibuses with electric motors and battery packs. Charging takes about 35 minutes for a 150-kilometer range. The energy source is Maiduguri's plentiful sunshine, captured by more than 150 solar panels. They've so far converted 10 minibuses and more than 50 tricycles that are in service on the roads of Maiduguri. Small, flexible transport options such as minibuses are crucial to life in many cities around the world, but most still run on heavily polluting gasoline or diesel. Though Nigeria is one of the world's biggest oil producers, people in the country regularly suffer from shortages and high prices at the pump. A ride on these solar-powered buses is not only cheaper, passengers have already picked up on other advantages. When I bought this car, there's nothing like I'm going into the station, getting the fuel, like whatever. I have to wait for the driver to like get fuel. Like for this one, I just go straight to my business, whatever I want to do within the city. Mustafa currently employs a diverse team of engineers, mechanics, technicians and drivers. A welcome sign of recovery in a remote part of Nigeria that was plagued for more than a decade by the Boko Haram terrorist group. The insurgency may have severely set back the regional economy, but Mustafa Gajibo is determined to realize his dream. He dropped out of university to start an electric revolution and named his company Phoenix Renewables after the mythical bird that rises from the ashes. The whole brain comes out of Borno State where there's no electricity, where there is no security, insecurity, and uh, access to raw materials is very limited. Access to uh, the technical manpower is very limited, but uh, we were able to come up with this uh, uh, such a technology. And uh, I believe that uh, whatever that is being built and designed out of problems tends to even be more stronger because uh, it will withstand almost all the challenges. Mustafa is already looking beyond adapting combustion vehicles and throughout 2022, his team has been working on its own 12-seater pure electric bus that they have conceived and built from the ground up. Earlier in 2022, he told us more about the project. We sat down and designed a full bus which will be locally built and fabricated here. So as you can see here, we have almost reached about 70 to 75 percent completion in this uh, our new bus that we are building. Uh, when this bus is fully finished, it's going to be a 12-seater bus which can cover up to 200 kilometers of one charge and uh, it's going to have all the future's latest vehicles in the world will have, including even voice command systems. If it sounds like the 29-year-old is dreaming big, it's because he is. For example, to properly harness solar power, 
he wants to build a battery gigafactory in Africa. Mustafa Gajibo aims to develop clean mobility solutions not only for Africa, but on a global scale. For this young entrepreneur, it looks like the journey is only just beginning.